Hi friends, let's discuss about the first operator from RSJS. To explain this, what I have here is a voting option where user will select any of the choice and he will click on the vote button. Say, let's say I choose the first option and I click on the vote. So one API will be called to save the vote with the selected options. Now, if I try to change the vote, uh, change the option, I'll be able to make another selection with the new one. Again, this will continue. So uh, this is fine. Now say if you want to allow the user vote only once. So how are we going to do this? Say once user submitted his vote, he will not be able to submit anymore or we will not be uh, allowing the user to do any post call, the save call. <coughs> so for this, what I have, if I show you the code here, this is the buttons vote button. Here I have one element reference. And based on that element ref, what I have here, one from event that's from the RSJS and on that click of the native element, I have the subscribe. So this is pretty simple. Now let me add one in the first operator here. <coughs> Let's see <coughs> what will be changed. Say if I click select the option, then I click the vote. Just notice the network tab here. So if I click the vote, one API call will be placed with the selection. Now if I choose the another option and hit the vote, nothing will happen. So so that is the way you can use the first operator from RSJX to stop the user from clicking multiple times or getting the value from the observable only once. So this is one scenario where we can use this. Let me give you another scenario. Suppose in the page what I have getting the to do's from the API. So I have to do one, to do two, then three and four and the uh, status completed or not. If it's completed, then it will show in green. If it's incomplete, then show in red. So how this is doing? So uh, I have on ng init, I have a get to do function call here. I have an API call, which is basically a get call giving us all the to do's available in the database. And on subscription, uh, I have one filter uh, applied with this. So what this filter is doing, basically it will, uh, uh, since it's returning one array. So if I show you the get API here, uh, here we have the data coming from the API. These are basically objects. So data is an array of objects. Uh, task objects. Now, uh, if we can make it one off using off operator, we can just uh, using the state operator and with the help of off, we are just making multiple values here. So it will basically subscribe again and it will add all the to do's. It will push basically all the to do's to another array and that array is basically uh, doing one ng repeat or ng4. Now, say if here I want to show only one to do which is coming from the DB. So just show the first one. So you can see it's taking the first one which is coming from the API. Now also say, say I want to, uh, see I want to add some more filter here. The task which is not completed, the first task. So as you can see, it will showing this one. This is the first task is incomplete status. So this is the uh, another example of first so we can just use the first or we can use any condition in the first param operator